So if you imagine yourself alone in the woods and there is a fly buzzing around your head, you can track really accurately, whether it's on the right side of your head, if it flies above you, below, by your feet, behind you, to the left, you got 360 degrees where you can sense where this fly is coming from. As the fly starts moving away from you at a certain point, you'd lose it, but that's just a limitation of how loud the fly is. That's not actually a limitation of your sense field, right? So if there was a really, really loud sound really far away from you, you could actually still hear it. You have this enormous sphere around you that's just limited by how loud the external forces are. Theoretically, there could be something galaxies away from you that's making an absurdly loud noise and you would still be able to even hear that. Now, the only reason I get into this is because it shouldn't be immediately intuitive how this works, right? We only have two ears, yet we can hear 360 degrees of space. That's kind of crazy. There's only two input points. All that you need to completely control that 360 degree realm is a pair of headphones. Now we want to be manipulating sound. We know that there's this huge 360 degree place that we can put things. There's really just one rule that you want to follow as you start designing your own sounds or making your own mixes. Prevent things from being in exactly the same place. So what I mean by that is like, say there is a fly buzzing around your head. If there was a second fly, you could track both of them. And something that would never happen in reality is both of the flies occupy the exact same place at the exact same time. They can get really close, they can whiz past each other, but the atoms are never going to actually collide so that they're in the exact same place. If you wanted to try and simulate what that might sound like, the closest thing that you could do would basically to be put one speaker there and then play two different sounds through it. What I can tell you is you will not be able to hear either sound as well as if you were to just put another speaker somewhere else and play one of the sounds through this speaker and the other one through that speaker. So when you're making your mixes, you really just want to avoid putting things into the exact same place in your virtual 3D environment because that's going to have the effect of them just sounding like there's a speaker there and both the sounds are playing through it where you could just really easily change anything about the two different sounds spatially so that they're not emanating from the exact same place. So without getting into anything too technical, that's really the single rule that you wanna try and follow when you're assembling things in your mix. Try and prevent two different things from coming from the exact same place. Because what you're gonna end up doing is creating the effect of there just being a speaker there that is playing both of these things. Whereas what you'd want to do is just have there be a bunch of speakers all over the place that are playing different things. Now, I would definitely just say it's worth noting the goal is not to have a mix that sounds like you have a bunch of different sounds coming from a bunch of different speakers. You want things to just actually sound like they would in reality. The distinction I'm drawing there is the difference between, say, somebody singing in front of you and a speaker in front of you playing back a recording of somebody singing in front of you. You want your mix to sound much more like the former.